Sharp Shots, Kirsten Joy Weiss here, and recently I enjoyed working and shooting with Arlie Ermy, or as most of you know him, The Gunny, on his most recent TV show called Gunny Time. In this episode, we explore the historical Winchester 1873, as much of a classic as The Gunny himself. Marksmanship was a big part of the episode, and while you'll enjoy a trick shot from me from a gun I just picked up that day, Gunny is quite a sharp shot himself, so sit back and enjoy the show. Well, we talked a little earlier about my childhood dreams of being a cowboy. So I decided to keep the cowboy look going a little bit longer today. Keep the image of the ride roping, six gun tote, cow chip slinging, gunny fresh in your mind. Maybe I'll even change my look permanently. Who knows? Gonna have to run it by Mrs. Gunny though. See what she thinks about it. Like anything, there's a few codes to live by when being a real cowboy, or cowgirl for that matter. And sharpshooting is one of them. From Wild Bill to Annie Oakley, the legends of the Wild West would never have been legends if they weren't packing legendary firearms. Among the most famous of those firearms is none other than the Winchester Model 1873 rifle. Now, this lever-action long gun was the gun that won the West. Wouldn't you know it? We happen to have one here today. I mean, why in tarnation would I be talking about it otherwise? Wake up and smell the roses. Let's take a look. Now here to tell us a little bit more about it is sharpshooting expert, national champion, and YouTube sensation, Kirsten Joy Weiss. Come on in here, Kirsten. Hey, How Gunny. you doing, baby? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm just happy to have you here on the show. And I am happy to be here. This is a pretty gun, there's no question it's about gorgeous. that. It's gorgeous. This particular one was engraved in 1886. It's one of 1,000. So this is very special. There was about 720,000 of these rifles made, the 1873, but this particular one is one of 1,000. Kirsten, how old were you when you started shooting? I actually started shooting when I was about 10. My dad took me out on the range with my grandfather's 30 out six. Okay. Put it in my hand. He gave me the best advice he could. He said, lean into it. It's just like life. You got to lean into it. And I shot a really decent group with a 30 out six. And he was like, hmm, you got something going there. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't actually until I was about 16 that I actually started competition shooting. Oh, that's a beautiful thing. And you started right off the bat with a 30 out 6 huh? <laughs> yeah. Now, let's dispense with the BB guns and the air <laughs> rifles and the pellet rifles, and let's just jump right in there with a 30 out 6 No right? kidding. I questioned my dad's methods, but obviously it was successful. Hmm, what a guy he is, huh? But anyway, I understand you have a, a pretty hot show on the internet. <laughs> and you've become a role model for a lot of ladies. You get a lot of hits, and, and tell me about that. How'd you get that started? Yeah, well, I decided the best way to show having fun with shooting is to show it through videos, and so I host videos on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, and I show the positive side of shooting. That's how you do it. And I do trick shots and performance shooting and all kinds of crazy things. So it's really a lot of fun, and it's fun for me, too, because I just enjoy what I do, and I enjoy the pure fun of shooting. Now, I'm anxious to see you shoot because I've seen you shoot before, and I'm one of those guys that when I find something really good, I like to share it with all my friends. <laughs> yeah, me too. Isn't That's why good? I share shooting, because it's awesome. I'm just interested in getting new shooters, whether regardless of gender, politics, religion, doesn't matter because shooting is for everyone. It, it can be intimidating at first for a lot of women to get into the sport because traditionally people see it as masculine, but it's not. I mean, actually, a lot of coaches that I talk to say that women are some of the most natural shooters they have. 
So it's just about getting out there, getting started, and everyone's excited to teach new shooters. It's fun. We're having a great time out here. I want to see us do some trick shooting. Yeah, let's shoot together. I'd love to shoot with you. And you're ready to go, right? Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. OK, let's make it happen. OK. This is what we're going to do it with. All right. OK, pilgrims, time for a break. Don't you go anywhere. OK, folks, we're back with Kirsten Joy Weiss and the 1873 Winchester, the gun that won the West. Let's see what she can do. Kirst, my God, you've got it bad, don't you? That old trigger figure just twitching away there. Yeah, absolutely. You want to shoot? I get kind of twitchy. You, so I think you might be even worse than me. <laughs> you're twitching. No. Well, I, it's, I'm so close to this. I just, I, I just gotta grab it. Go for this it. This is the genuine Go. article, kind of like you, Gunny. That's a sweetheart of a gun, isn't it? It is a beautiful. Feel good? Oh, yeah. These were about nine and a half pounds. So they're not they're not lightweights. Hmm, what caliber is this? This gunny is a 4440. What is it? About 130 years old? Yeah, this one is probably almost 150 years old. Don't suppose it's worn out, do you? Nah. Well, there's only one way to find out, really. Yeah. I've heard you can split a card. I've heard that you can shoot and lean over backwards and do contortions. That yes that I could probably do myself, well, but I wouldn't want to upstage you because you're my guest. Where did I learn it from? I mean. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's go shoot this thing. Let's go. There you go. Beautiful. All right, Gunny, let's see what you got. Well done, Kirsten. You've done good. Thank you. Good shoot. Those aren't that big, are they? They're not that big. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in the offhand position. Uh huh. Yes. Good work, Gunny. It was awesome. It's what I do. You done good too, kiddo. Thank you so much. Very good. Those sights are pretty spot on, though. They are. And the 1873s were known for their accuracy, so I guess it's true. It is very true. And uh, what I'm excited about, Kirsten, is I want to see some of your trick shoot. We'll do a Pilates trick shot. Pilates? Yeah, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you do your yoga and Pilates every morning, I'm sure you're familiar with that. Oh, but of yeah. course, right after I finish with my five mile run. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, I thought something good to eat, Pilates. <laughs> it now, does sound kind of Okay, delicious. it's up to you. I'm gonna see you do some trick shoot now. I'm All gonna right. step out of the way. what I'm talking about. Good job. Thank you, Gunny. Fantastic. I wish I was as limber as you are. <laughs> I don't even think I could get in that position, <laughs> for Christ's sake, let alone shoot a rifle in that position. So I got to give you some kudos on that one. Well, thanks. But hey, 
I want to thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. And as far as you guys go, we'll see you next week. Try to be good between now and then, okay? After watching that episode, I'm sure you can tell that Gunny and I had too much fun shooting together. And don't let him know I told you, but he's kind of got a sweet side too. Well, there's always something exciting in the works here, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single shot. So be sure to share this with friends, we'd love it too. And thanks for joining me for the fun challenge. Enjoy your shooting, aim true, and happy shooting. To catch more episodes of Anytime, check the description below for updated information.